Today we are going to study about Lao Tzala. It belongs to the family Texas. Its English name is Himalaya New. Texas Valisiana is an evergreen coniferous plant attaining a height up to 30 meters. Its barks are thinner, reddish brown, rough, and its leaves are small, petiolated, shiny, dark green. Its cones are yellowish and axillary, and its seeds are olive green in color. It is distributed from 1200 to 37,000 meters above sea level of Nepal, India, Bhutan, and Pakistan, Afghanistan, etc. It has wide uses. It has a remarkable history of its uses in the traditional system of medicines such as Ayurveda, Yunani, Amchi, etc. It is effective in treating cold, cough, respiratory infections, etc. It is also used in digestion and other digestive problems. It is effective in epilepsy, rheumatism, tuberculosis, etc. It is also used to treat snake bite and scorpion stings. It has anti inflammatory and analgesic properties. It has anti cancer properties, so it is also used in cancer treatment. It has antibacterial and antifungal properties. The chemical that is present in Texas Wallisiana is Texel. Climate and soil. Texas Wallisiana prefers sandy soil of Himalayas. Now we are going to discuss about the cultivation technique. For the cultivation of Texas, soil should be prepared by proper plowing and mixing good amount of farm and manure. Seeds are transplanted in the nursery bed and proper watering should be done. After a few months, plantlets are transplanted in the 1 meter cube beds during rainy seasons. Proper gaps should be maintained between the plantlets. For high yield, field cultivation shedding facility should be considered. After planting, the young plants should be cared for diseases and pests. And PK fertilizers should be properly used. The plants the plant parts like branches, leaves, stems, barks, etc. can be harvested in autumn and winter after 3 to 4 years. Now we are going to talk about the harvesting techniques of Texas Wallisiana. The leaves can only be harvested from trees whose trunk is more than 20 cm in radius from February to April. The barks and roots can be harvested from the mature mother plants only. For sustainable harvesting, mother plants should not be harmed while harvesting its parts. Now we are going to discuss about the chemical constituents of Texas Wallisiana. The main chemical constituent of Texas Wallisiana is Texel, which has high anti-cancer properties and high market demand and price.